Hi, this is John Reed. You can't see me. Uh, I'm behind the camera, johnerp.com, and joining me is Sue Martin, Global Certification Director, SAP Education. And we have grabbed a somewhat quiet spot in the exhibition hall not far from the community clubhouse, and we're here to talk about some of the interesting and compelling developments in the SAP certification world. So, SAP certification has sometimes acquired a somewhat cynical view in the SAP community as some type of unchanged entity that just keeps on going the same as it always was. But there's actually been some pretty dramatic changes, so can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to elaborate too much, John, but uh, when I came to SAP as a, as a consultant about three and a half, three and a quarter years ago now, um, you're absolutely right. I mean, the certification program hadn't changed very much, well, significantly really, since the mid-90s, and so it had been going for 10 years, and um, there were over 120,000 people certified out there under that program. Um, but I was asked to come and see whether we needed to change or whether it was fine to have that, you know, as you call it, <laughs> dinosaur out there. Um, and so um, my recommendations were basically that, you know, it was, it was, it did what it was supposed to do when it was created in the, in the mid-90s, but there the were a lot of things that were really missing and we really needed to reanalyze um, where the value proposition was for customers, you know, whether it was really a valid benchmark for customers to be able to make decisions, whether it was a good um, hiring benchmark for partners, whether it, it represented a competitive advantage really for the for the individuals who, you know, whether it was worth going through the pain of getting certified because did it did it uh, translate into into real benefits? Um, and I got um, some really interesting feedback. Um, so within SAP, um, I really got the feedback that it, you know it needed to be realigned as a strategic program. Um, so not just a certification exam basically at the end of training but um, it needed to address uh, more experienced um, consultants um, and it needed to be realigned with our partner programs, it needed to be uh, much more of a strategic objective and also our customers were saying okay you know for it to be really a, a valid benchmark it had to be much more about what can that individual actually do when they get into the project and not so much about what do they know about our software. I mean, hopefully a combination of both yeah. <laughs> helps, but, um, you know, not not so much focused on the function and feature, but really, you know, what's mission critical, what is important, um, what means project success, and what can they not afford not to know. Um, so we changed everything to the job task-oriented um, certification profiles um, which was quite a big transformation and then we were also hearing from the community but also from customers um, that they needed something that validated project experience um, so customers needed that extra validation above and beyond the associate layer um, and um, the individuals were saying well that's fine you know I did my certification when I joined the SAP world eight years ago, um, but what, what meaning does certification have for me now in my, my career, you know, people come to me for references or it's word of mouth, whatever, um, certification means nothing to me, I'm, you know, out there in the field. So what we basically did was we, um, we developed the multiple tier concept that you know, um, and we brought in the first professional certifications, which are... Um, targeted at those individuals who really have that, that solid project experience. So we would expect people to have been in the SAP world and have that relevant experience for at least four years before they go for the professional certification. Um, and it really tests whether they've got that project experience and whether they can actually do what they say they can do. Um, and the next big um, the next big part on our agenda really is the master certification which is the creme de la creme sort of the top of the pyramid um, the eight plus years of experience masters in the field 